tuende kwa Biblia zetu katika uh, Mark chapter 11 verse 23 because of the season inaitwa Palm Sunday ambapo alikoitwa Martha na Mariam until such a time kupatikane theology and better convince otherwise but do i hold hata kama bila bado haijaniambia hivyo i still hold that i believe kwa nasemaga uh, when you say you believe it's you who believes kwa hivyo ni tofauti na kusema the bible says when the bible says that's authority but when i say i believe ni mimi you can choose to believe with me you can choose uh, to to decide me be alala kwa kina wa kesho isi shida mimi na believe alala kwa kina Lazaro amen na na believe ya kwamba alirauka aliporauka akaanza kuelekea Jerusalem akiwa anaelekea Jerusalem kabla hajaelekea of course amesema aletewe mwana punda alipoletewa mwana punda huyo mwana punda akapambwa na si kawaida ya mwanapunda kupambwa ni mnyama gani wanapambwa ni farasi lakini leo bwana ameamua anaenda na mwanapunda inaitwa grace grace ni wakati Mungu anaamua kukutumia na hustahili hufai by all standards si, si wewe kuna mtu hata watu wakiulizwa wanajua ni huyu yeah mwabela bantu na mwana wena lakini anasema ni wewe ampigie ah, bwana Yesu bakofi farasi eh badala ya farasi anaamua anapanda nani alafu ni bwana wa mabwana mfalme wa falme na falme wanatembeaga na farasi hata Kenya wanasema farasi ni wawili sijui sisi wengine kilala <laughs> eh wanasema farasi ni wangapi Kenya nzima hii bwana farasi do will what do you mean yani kuna watu wanaonekana tayari ambia jirani lakini kuna kitu kinaitwa neema farasi alishangaa punda anapambwa akashangaa zaidi Yesu anampanda alafu hata punda wenyewe wakaanza kushangaa wakiuliza even if it was a donkey why not an experienced one kwa nini huyu ambaye hajawahi pandwa nimekuja kukuambia a lot of, of surprises await you they will not be surprises to you there will be surprises to those who didn't think you will ever amount to anything hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi mazuri haleluya akaelekea mpaka Jerusalem Alipofika Jerusalem amepanda mwanapunda. Hawakuanza maswali. Ni kweli tuko na mitende yetu. Ni kweli tuko na mitandio. Ni kweli tuko na mazita nini zile zingine shawl. Ni kweli tuko na vikoi. Ni kweli tuko na hii yako inaitwa nini kikoi hiyo unaiona? Hiyo ni kikoi. Nani ana nyingine? Eh, eh? Leso lakini tunatandikia mwanapunda kweli shwali hawakuwa na maswali kwa sababu shishwa haikuwa mwanapunda ishu ilikuwa yule aliyebebwa haleluya wakatandika matandiko na wakaanza kuimba hosana hosana ni kwa yule ajae kwa jina la bwana Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hawakuwa wanamjua kwa ufunuo lakini walipotandika roho akashuka akawafundisha kusema hosana, akawafundisha kusema huyu amekuja kwa jina la Bwana. Hakuhubiri kwanza walipata ufunuo. Nimekuja kukuambia ukifikia kufanya assignment yako, Mungu atakupa ufunuo. Utajua la kufanya kama ni yako utafaniki kama ni yako uta excel haleluya tulipokuwa bible school watu wakauliza mtajuaje kwa kweli nimeitwa na Mungu sijajiita sijaitwa na watu i mean it's very simple if it is of god it will work 
If it is yours, you will struggle. Wewe yeah. unaona kama ninangangana na kubiri kweli. Mimi ubiri tu hata nikija siku anajua hii ujumbe itaenda vipi. Kaambia wewe soma tu andiko alafu. Si unaona hata sijakuja na notes maana sijaandika. Nimeambiwa tu nisome itajileta. Na mimi nikaobey. Maana hii ni yangu. Nilipewa. I don't struggle. Akakuta watu wamebadilisha agenda. Ambie jirani usibadilishe agenda hapa. Tachapo bure. Halo, badala ya nyumba ya baba iwe ya sala wameifanya kuwa ya biashara. Wakachapwa na wote wakatupwa na mali zao nje. From that day. Amen. Makasa mengine akasema hata mnada hatuuzi hapa ndani. Kokopa <laughs> kabisa. It was actually uh, the overdoing of it. Mungu ana shida ati tuna tuna changa tunauza hapa na tunairudisha hapa hapa. Wajambo walikuwa watengeza faida. They were called money changers. Walikuwa wanauza ukinunua hello wanapata faida yao na we unapata mnyama wa kuchinja. Yaani mnyama wa kutoa sadaka. Kule kunatakiwa ndege unanunua njiwa ulikuja na hela yako ya Kenya wao wapate faida yao they are going back with that money wao upate huyo ndege wende utoe sadaka na situpate faida that is what ilikeraga yesu hapa ukinunua kuku kwa elfu moja kwa elfu kumi shauri yako yote inaingia hapa wendi nyumbani na pen hatujafanya biashara tumefanya biashara ya kingdom so mpigie bwana yesu makofi <laughs> nasema mchapie bwana yesu makofi wakaondoka Wakafanya nini? Kesho yake wakaanza kurudi tena. Sijui wanaenda kufanya nini tena na walishapigiwa makofi jana. Asubuhi wamerauka. Yesu akawa na njaa. Akaona mtini. Akatamani kula tunda. Akalikosa. A hungry man is an angry man. Weke maomo kwenu. Kuseleke mungu usikufuma njala. Siache huyo mzee. Ndio maana nilianza na kusema ni kwa kina Lazaro, maana na agenda. Amen. When I will make it to heaven, I have to have a sitting with Martha. Nimwambie na vile unapendaka kusavu ili kwaje Yesu akatoka njaa kwenu. Yeye ndo ataenda kuniambia hapana haikuwa kwetu. Ni Martha wewe utaniconvince. Mimi na kesi na Martha tukifika heaven. Aende aliambie ili kwaje Yesu akatoka njaa na vile unapenda kusavu. Amen. Lakini hakulani kajulikana Melan alisema mtu asile tunda kwako tena na hata kukaza sauti hata kupaza sauti hata kuonyesha hasira lakini aliongea ndio maana mimi kitabiri haikuwa lazima ikikuja ya fujo haya lakini mara nyingi inakujaga polepole maana niligundua hata Yesu alikuwa afanyi fujo zozote akiwa anasema mambo ya maana fujo ni za kuleta attention lakini when you want to communicate properly you just speak slowly Hebu mpigie bwana Yesu makofi. <laughs> Wakaenda Amen. Wakarudi jioni. Wakafanya nini? Wakarudi mpaka Bethany kabisa. I believe hiyo jioni mtini ulikuwa as green as ever. Maana pia kuna mtu najua vizuri kwa ile kwa ile group anaitwa Petro. Petro alikuwa amejua Yesu amesema na Petro alikuwa anangojea ule mtini utafanyika nini? The fact ya alinyamaza jioni means mtini bado ulikuwa green. Wakalala siku ya tatu wanashuka tena. Mara ya tatu ndio walikuta mtini umenyauka mpaka kwa mizizi. 
Hapo ndiyo sasa Petro amechawa la roho. Oh haleluya rabala balaba. Lilili tela. Oh bwana, ule mtini ulo lanjana. Eh, nakwambia, eh umenyauka. Si. <laughs> Akabio na Yesu mweke na imani. Hizi mali hapa ile imechelewa. Eh, hii rabara rabara ukifanya jana nilipomaliza kuongea because that was when the miracle happened. Hallelujah. This is simply the manifestation of the miracle, but the miracle happened when I spoke the word. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Niliposema ya kwamba utajua na utaweza kukifanya kile ulichoitiwa kama walivyojua kusema hosana kama utapata kibali kama vile punda alivyopata hiyo kibali uliipata wakati niliongea si wakati utapata kazi si wakati utapata cheo hiyo umepata saa ile nilipoongea wakati atatendeka that is simply the manifestation Ah unielewi? Hujaelewa? Nasema kama nimesema. Amen. Feva umepata kama punda. Grace umepata. We don't qualify but you'll get it. Kama nimesema. Na kama umepokea, upokee ile siku itafanyika unapokea leo. Unaanza raba raba shandarako sasa. Amen. Na ukishapata na wewe utajua kupata ufunuo kama wale wa Israeli. Utasema Hosana is the one that comes in the name of the Lord. Na ujafundishwa. Padri ajakuambia. Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm very much on time brother Peter. Nilienda college hata mimi. Hebu mpige bwana Yesu makofi. <laughs> Hello. When I put my mind to do it, I will do it and I'll make it in the time I want. Jina la bwana lipewe sasa. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hebu mchapie bwana Yesu makofi mazuri. Ukweje na imani. Wakauliza vipi? Amen. Ndio sasa tusome kwa mara ya pili na ya mwisho that same verses tulisoma now that you have the information Hebu tuanzie verse 21 ili usifikiri nilikuwa naongea yangu Petro akakumbuka habari yake akamwambia rabi tazama mtini uliulani umenyauka Yesu akajibu akamwambia muamini Mungu amini na waambia yeyote atakaye uambia mlima huu ngoka ukatupwe baharini wala asione shaka moyoni mwake ila amini kwamba hayo asemayo yametukia yatakuwa yake kwa sababu hiyo nawaambia yoyote mwiaombayo mkisali aminini ya kwamba mnayapokea nayo yatakuwa yenu haleluya Imani number one ni kuwa na hakika ya mambo yatarajiwayo. Number two ni ku act in obedience to a word you have heard from God. You only apply faith and it is only faith after God has spoken. Unajua sisi nasi kanisa tuko interesting. Tunajichochea wenyewe. Unajichochea, unajichochea. Ambia jirani acha kushinda ukijichochea peke yako. <laughs> Deal na Mungu anene. Then you have grounds. Amen. Then you have no. Kama tuliongea nikakwambia njoo Jumapili baada ibada nitakupatia shilingi elfu moja. una haki ya kunifuata baada ibada nikupe elfu mo. lakini kama si kusema na unashinda ukijichochea pasta mi elfu tanipa elfu tanipa si nitatoka niingie kwa gari yangu naende nyumbani 
kazi mwingine alijaribu akaja hapa akajichochea akajichochea at lazima nimpe lazima nimpe hai alinifuata kwa gari ngoma mzee tuliolewana kabisa this time around eh hii story kunikoni kila siku hata mimi pia nimefika mahali umenisukuma kuna mahali nimefika una nikoni kila siku mzee haiwezekani Hmm? Alafu mm, watu wote hapa wanafanya kazi, wameshindwa kufanya kazi watu wote, wewe unaketi ndee, hata kusaidia usaidi. Alafu tena bado mimi nikupe. Kwani ulikuwa unafanya kazi hapo ukiketi? Si angalau ungekuona umeshinda na watu ukiwa busy at least you earn it. Siku ingine akalikujia na kitabu chake cha hostali. Nilimwambia nili hiyo siku. <laughs> <laughs> Nikamwambia ah hicho ndio kitega uchumi maana everywhere yako nacho ndio la shida praise nacho pesa. Nikamwambia ah hicho ndio kitega uchumi chako. Yaani alo hatuna ahadi. Hebu ambia jirani usijifanye conman kwa Mungu. Acha aonge. Alafu usimame hapo. Usijichoche peke yako. No word, no promise. Oh bwana utanifanyia tu bwana utanifanyia tu bwana utanifanyia tu atapita ukiona hivi hivi tena aende afanyie mwenzako hapo next na utadu he is sovereign kwani ni vyako si ni vyake unasema you are speaking very rough yes ni yeye alisema e, yakobo nitapenda esau si nitapenda e, yakobo nitabariki esau si bariki wali kuna kitu walifanya Hebu ambia jirani tega sikio. Kama umeambiwa ongea na mlima. Ongea na nini? Acha kuombea, acha kukemea, acha mambo mengi. Just speak to the mountain just the way he spoke to the fig tree. Speak to your mountain, the mountain in your life. Just speak to it calmly on the word si nimeshalisema na si nimetumwa na Mungu basi utasimama utanenda na mlima wako na utaamini wa mlima umengoka na uende ukibehave ya kwamba mlima umengoka history unarudi unashinda ukiongea mlima na mlima tulingoa ah na wewe pia unatu unatufanyisha kazi ya ziada bana hebu simama kwa miguu yako tunakusifu tunalitukuza na kulimili jina lako wewe peke yako ndiwe bwana zaidi yako hatuna mungu mwingine usifiwe jehova utukuzwe na uimitiwe lipewe sifa na utukufu jina lako we give you glory lord we give you honor oh my savior lord on a day like this during a season like this oh god you gave us your word that we can speak to mountains in our lives and command those mountains to be moved and direct them where they should go i declare in the name of jesus that every mountain in the lives of god's people we command every mountain to move right now in the name of Jesus I command every sickness and disease every other need to subdue to submit to the word of God and to give way right now in the name of Jesus I declare God's people whole from the crown of their head even to the sole of their feet right now in the name of Jesus we give you glory we give you honor we bless your name in Jesus mighty name we pray believing and trusting amen the church say a big big amen